What is going on guys, Joel here back with another video and today we're actually going to be taking a look at iTunes 12 or the latest version of iTunes. It's actually still in beta form and it's going to be available to those that are running OS 10 Yosemite, the developer preview. So I'm actually running the developer preview for and with this developer preview, you're able to download the iTunes 12 beta. And as you see here, we have the new iTunes and this is going to be the new icon right here. Instead of it being blue, it's more of a red slash pink type of color. And we're going to take a look at it real quick. Go ahead and open it up. And now you see the whole new redesign. Now they did demo iTunes 12 back at WWDC. And as you see here, it's, it gives it more of a fresh look to match OS 10 Yosemite. And there's not many changes, but we're going to go ahead and see and check them out, see what new changes are available. So you see here, it's going to sort of have a new design, not so much, but you do see the music controls right here on the left side, of course. You see the volume uh, slider right here. And now we have the AirPlay icon right here. So if you have an Apple TV, then you'll be able to connect to that Apple TV and play your music through your computer over to your Apple TV. And of course, here in the middle, we have our Apple logo, which is going to have the display information of your artist, song, or whatever is playing at the current moment. And right here on the right side, we now have something new. You have your account. So if you simply tap on there, you will see account, and then you'll be able to go into your wish list or redeem a code, or you can access your account information. And then right below that, you have your Apple ID along with your credits if you have any credits and then you have the option to sign out and that is pretty cool because you have quick access to your account now just by clicking right up here on the top right and then right here to the right we have our search library so you'll be able to search your whole library and things like that and then now here on the left side we have our icons here and instead of having like a drop down uh, arrow to select your music movies your tv shows you now have icons which is pretty neat and then right next to that we have our device and currently I have my iPhone hooked up to my computer and if I simply tap on there I'll be able to access my information but we'll take a look at that here in a second but going back we have our music icon we have our movies icon TV icon and you're probably wondering where is the rest of them uh, you simply click on these little dots right here which is going to give you more options uh, or more selections you'll be able to go to your podcast iTunes audiobooks apps tones internet radio and also you'll be able to edit uh, the icons here. So by default, it's going to show up three icons and say if I go ahead and select, uh, for instance, internet radio, it'll add an extra icon there. But as I keep switching here, it'll actually switch up that icon. So depending which one you choose, it's just going to show four of them plus your device if you have a device connected. But if you go into edit, you'll see that music is going to automatically by default uh, be selected, but you'll be able to deselect these other options here or these other categories which is going to be movies tv shows podcasts etc etc uh, so if you have podcast selected we got itunes U. let's just do this for examples and then we hit done so now you see that there's going to be more icons right there so it's going to give you quick access to those options there and uh, that's pretty much it on that now going back into the music's tabs we have our music we have playlists we have match we have radio and the iTunes store. So this is where you access the iTunes store. So that is pretty much the music tab. So basically it's kind of going to give you a more simplistic uh, way to navigate through your different categories. Uh, but going over to your device, we now see our device right here, our device information, like the name of your device, along with how much, how much memory, of course, and also the battery life. And you get the little picture of the iPhone there instead of it being here in the middle. Uh, and then also you get the sidebar now of your summary, your info, apps, music, and everything. Normally it was up here at the top and that's something that I really didn't like. I uh, really like that they changed it up here. But now you see here, this is kind of normal here. Nothing has changed here. Uh, you can still, of course, check for update, restore phone here, backup the device, restore from backup, and all that uh, good stuff here. Uh, now here on the device, You'll be able to see what's on your device, whether it's music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, and music. And then down below, you'll see how much space is available and how much space is taken up, uh, whether it's music, apps, photos, and everything like that. And pretty much, that is the new iTunes 12. Um, quick little overview of it. Here's the iTunes store once again. 
and nothing's really changed uh, except the little layout of it. It kind of got more simplified and I am kind of liking how it is now more simplified. Something I didn't go through is the music. I mean, you can still see it's still going to be the same thing. You get the artist info, the album, and then the songs. And then right here on the top right, you can actually select the different view options here. So pretty much that is uh, all on iTunes 12, what's new. Uh, the major change I would say is gonna be the icon, to be honest. But I wanna know your thoughts. What do you think about the whole new iTunes 12? Uh, are you a fan of it? Or are you looking forward to the new change? Uh, nothing really much has changed, like I said. Just a new little layout here. Uh, it's more simplified. I actually do like it. So uh, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, go ahead and hit that like button if you did enjoy this video. Not only helps me, but it supports the channel as well. And if you do want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section below. And also by slapping that like button to show me that you like this type of video. Maybe in the future I'll do kind of a little walkthrough on OS 10 Yosemite and give you my top couple features that I like on OS 10 Yosemite. If you'd like to see that, hit the thumbs up and also leave a comment down below letting me know that you do want to see that. But anyways, if you're not following me on any of my social networks like Facebook, Twitter, Google+, Instagram, all that good stuff, all the links will be down below in the description. So go ahead and follow me on those. Uh, I'm more active on Twitter and Instagram. So if you want to go ahead and reach me, go ahead and contact me on Twitter or Instagram. Go ahead and follow me on those. And if you feel like being awesome, go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you'll be notified when I come out with all of my latest videos. But that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Thanks a lot for watching. And as always, I'll catch you all on the next one. All right, peace.